another stitch. For those that don't know me, my name is Connie, and if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are new, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you found out about my channel, and let me know a little bit about yourself so I can start to get to know you better. So how are all of my yarny aliens doing today? I hope y'all are all having an amazing day. So some of y'all are probably curious how my back's been doing. It is better than what it was. Um, I, const I always have issues with my back. This has been going on for about two years now, but sometimes it flares up more than other times. And as y'all know, it flared up over the weekend where I had to miss the Five Yarnaholics Live and I ended up canceling my Monday life. Um, but it is better. I mean, it's still bugging me quite a bit. Like today, I went to try to bend over to pick up a package that I got. And I had a hard time bending over just to grab the package. But hopefully, hopefully it starts to keep getting better, hopefully. So anyway, today's video is Crochet Tuesday. And I'm going to show y'all the progress of the Bag o Day Love of My Life shawl. And this is how it's coming along. And I love this pattern. I think it's a gorgeous pattern. And Bag o Day, she, she is just so talented. I inspire one day to be able to design and put out patterns like how she does. Um, I love the, the yarn that I'm using for this shawl, too. It's called um, Premier Color Fusion DK Yarn, and the yarn color is Springtime. And I, I, I love the Premier Color Fusion DK Yarn. They have, like, just gorgeous color combinations. So, I'm curious. What are you currently crocheting? Let me know in the comments down below. So now, I want to show you some yarn that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. I placed an order online. Um, what I'm going to show you, it's a small amount of yarn. I did order more yarn, which I'm not going to show you on this video because it's yarn for future giveaways. So, be on the lookout for that. So the first yarn I want to show you, and I love this yarn, it is gorgeous, and I'm actually planning to use this yarn for the uh, Pretty as a Peacock shawl that I plan to, to knit soon. It's a beautiful pattern, it's gorgeous, but this is what the yarn looks like that I'm going to be doing it in, and I got two of these. Isn't that just gorgeous? And this is the Yarn B Rainbow Ras Rhapsody. And the color is Peacock. I think that would be such perfect yarn for that shawl. And then the other yarn I got is just basically plain yarn whenever I need a solid color. And probably, most of this will probably be used on future gnomes or amigurumi. Um, it's a, I love this yarn, um, the super soft, and this one is in the color cream. And then I got some white too. I was getting low on white. <laughs> and I was also like practic basically out of what I call alien green yarn. And the color for this is mid green. And then the last yarn I have to show y'all is the color is sun gold. And these are all I love this yarn. So that's my little mini Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby haul that I got from online. So now we're going to get into the announcements. So tomorrow, which is Thursday, I will be going live at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. And my guest star is the fabulous Dana with Dana Wonderless Crochet. So I hope y'all can make it to that live. 
Then next, I want to talk about the different videos and lives that you, my Yorny friends, can submit your, your pictures for these videos or lives. First, um, I'm starting to do an educational live that will be starting the first Monday in July, which is July 4th, the 4th of July. And I'll be doing this every Monday at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. And first, we're going to break up the topic topic of yarn. And, and there's going to be several lives that we're going to talk about yarn. Then we'll move on to some other subjects. But on that first live on July 4th, we're going to specifically be talking about zero-weighted yarn or cotton thread tin. And I'm asking you, my yarny friends, to submit your pictures of makes that you have made using that type of yarn. And this doesn't have to be makes that you've recently made. This could be something you made 20 years ago. Um, I just want to be able to share different things that you can make with that type of yarn. And, you know, I, I always love seeing y'all beautiful makes and I'm, I pretty much know that everyone else loves seeing it too. But like on that live, I'm going to make a little bitty video and it's going to be on that live showing those pictures. The next thing I want to talk about is the finished projects video, which the next one will be July 15th. And this is a video that you can submit pictures of any of your recent makes. Um, it could be crochet, knitting, loom knitting. Um, I always love seeing y'all pictures. And sometimes I get people that's, that submit a different craft too every now and then. Then the next live that I want to talk about submitting pictures for is the uh, Southern Crocheters live, which we do that the third Wednesday of every month at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the next one will be Wednesday, July 20th. And last month we talked about yarn. So we're asking y'all to send pictures of either your yarn stash or maybe take a few skeins of your favorite yarn that you have in your stash and take pictures of that. And we'll show that in a, a little video towards the beginning of the live. And one thing I do want to mention since we're on that subject, the, the topic we're going to be talking about in July is going to be quick and easy gift ideas. And the live will be on Barbara's channel in July. And the final picture video that you can submit pictures for, and this is something that I have brought up a little bit previously. I brought it up on my last Knitting Friday video, and I think I've brought it up on a live or two, where it's basically going to be similar to the finished projects video, but I'm going to do it the like a themed video where each month I'm going to ask y'all to send pictures of a certain type of project. And the first one I'm going to do on August 1st. And I'm going to do this the first of every month. So on August 1st, I want to do one of gloves or fingerless gloves or mittens that y'all have made. And this is something, it doesn't have to be recent makes. It's just, you know, anything that you've made in the past, and it could be, again, it could be crochet, knitting, loom knitting, it doesn't matter. So, submit your gloves and your mitten pictures to me, too. And, you know, to submit your pictures, send them to my email, justanotherstitch2020 at gmail.com, or you can post them in my Facebook group. My email address is listed in the description box of all my videos and also on my about page. And my Facebook group link is also listed in the description box of all my videos. And the last thing I have for the announcements is I know I still need to put out the um, unpopular crochet opinion tag. 
um, I'll have that up by the end of the, the week. Um, by Sunday, I'll have that video up. I'm kind of trying to play catch up since I was having problems with my back. But that's the plans for that. Um, so now it's time for cat news. Meow, meow. news today well Sophie Sophie Wolfie has been something else lately um she's been quite chatty um she's been meowing up a storm and she she's still being quite the love bug usually in the morning she comes around for her morning attention um she likes to plop herself like right in this area and she's heavy <laughs> But now, but now she's kind of started moving on to the back bedroom. And, well, I used to refer to this room as the cat's room. Um, but right now, I guess you can call it Sophie's room. And she gets in the window, and she loves watching outside. Um, I think she watches the neighbors and stuff. Um, so Sophie, Sophie so loves watching outside. She really does. And then Allie, there hasn't been that much going on with Allie. Um, Allie, Allie really sticks to herself a lot. She really does. Um, and, and usually, like, if she comes close enough around, you know, you can pet her. But and she, lo she, loves her, she loves getting pet. But she's like, you come to me. <laughs> she don't like to come to you that often, except for when she gets clingy. But, um... Well, Allie was in the hallway, and I think Sophie jumped down, and she was headed to her room, and Allie was not happy about it. Allie started, like, growling and stuff at her, because, you know, I, 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 Allie does not like Sophie being that close to her, no. Um, Allie, Allie can be something else when it comes to Sophie. If Allie had it her way, she would have her kingdom all to herself. Um, but but that's pretty much it that's been going on with the fur babies. So I hope everyone is having a fabulous yarny day. Be the light and bye.